Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Jamie with uh, Veloci Airplanes and I'm here to tell you today about the uh, Veloci uh, 400 airplane. Um, so what do we do that everyone else uh, doesn't do is we have the fastest speed in our airplanes for the price and the build time of the airplanes. The only way that you're going to go faster in an airplane is to spend more money and it's usually a lot more money. Uh, most of the planes that go faster than ours are at least double the price of ours. So sometimes triple depending on which ones you're comparing it to. So that's what we do. If, you're, if the idea of your plane is to go fast from point A to point B, that's what we do. That's what we're here for. And we got two, four, and six person planes to do that. The six person is pressurized, the two and the four are not. So without further ado, let's go into what actually the Bocce 400 is. And basically what happened was Cirrus copied us. That's what happened. Right. So what, what that means is that they decided that um, and when I said, I mean, they didn't really copy us, but we were actually around first before Sears was. But they, they actually built their planes and started selling them uh, about 10 years after Rich Trickle first designed his first Pulsar 150 airplane. Uh, and now that, that was a Generation 1 plane that Rich Trickle designed. Then he designed the KISS TR4 plane, which was a Generation 2 plane. And that was out in the 90s. And then uh, now he designed the Generation 3, and that uh, was finished in 2013. And uh, it's an amazing plane. And what happened was Rich said, hey, you know what? I want a Cirrus, but I can't afford one. So he took his Kish TR4 and made it to be more like a Cirrus currently actually is. So that's why we can go 200 knots at 8,000 feet on 15 gallons an hour, or you climb up to 18,000 feet and you go 220 knots on that same 15 gallons an hour. And if you build the plane yourself, you do all the build, uh, you can get it into the plane for about $150,000, and that's everything, paint, avionics, leather, engines, the kit, everything that you need. Uh, and if we uh, build it for you at our uh, Build Assist Center, and there are limited spots available for this, uh, but if we help you build it at our uh, Build Assist Center, it's 227k all in built. It has a 1400 nautical mile range at 175 knots. If you push it up to 200 knots, uh, you're only going to get about 1100 uh, 1200 nautical mile range out of it. Uh, it has a 1200 plus uh, pound useful load, and so it's it's actually all the numbers that you're seeing here are way better than an actual Cirrus actually. So. What's the difference between us and Cirrus? Well, obviously 70% less price, and that's with us uh, building at the build center with you helping. 25% less uh, fuel burn than a Cirrus for the same speeds. 15% more speeds uh, uh, if you with, uh, for about the same fuel burn. Uh, and our cabin is only one inch smaller than a Cirrus. So if you want to know what it's like to sit inside of our cabin, you can literally go sit inside of any Cirrus airplane and find out this is what it feels like because ours is the same exact amount of room on the inside as the Cirrus and that's the way uh, Rich designed it. And if you want to build it yourself, well, you can actually be 85% less price uh, than a Cirrus. And like I said, you're going to have better numbers. So um, that's just what I mean by, you know, we are like a Cirrus, but Rich actually started his planes first. And so, you know, that's kind of the history I just told you about, but that, that's where it comes from. That's the Generation 1, the Generation 2 is the TR4, and the Generation 3 we now call the Veloci 400, all designed by Rich Trickle. There's over 100 of the uh, Pulsar 150s and KISS TR4s flying in the United States. Uh, there is one of the Veloci 400s at the time of this recording currently flying in the United States. There are three additional kits in the United States being built with two more kits shipping here in the next a uh, month or two to the United States as well with two more shipping uh, every two months after that as well. So um, we're on track here to start really having a presence in the United States, but right now, since we're new, that's why our uh, prices are a lot less than the competitors. For the same exact thing, apples to apples, you're looking at $150,000 more from any competitor to get the same sort of thing we have with our Build Assist program with them and their Build Assist program, at least 150 grand more. And you're not going to be going as fast, you're not going to be going as far, you're not going to be carrying as much load. Right? So that that that's the benefit of you know going to somebody new is you know they're 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 making a name, so they're willing to sell for a little bit less. 
So who am I and, and how do you trust me? Well, I, like I said in the beginning, my name is Dr. Jamie and I actually own that exact Cirrus that you see right there. It was a 2007, I bought it in 2014, I sold it in 2016, but it was, and I sold it because it wasn't fast enough. It didn't get me to where I wanted to go quick enough. So I sold it because I need, I need something faster, right? Right now, commercial, even with going to the airport early, even with picking up your bags after, right? All that stuff, it still was faster for me to fly commercial most times than it was for me to fly my own Cirrus. So that's why I sold it and I started looking for something to go faster. And what I found was that to get what I wanted, the absolute cheapest plane was 1.3 million. And I was like, man. I don't think I want to spend that amount of money on an airplane, right? And that was only one of them. And every other plane to go the speed and the, the distance and, the, and the, with a pressurized cabin that I wanted was like two, three million, right? Now I could get a Lancer 4P that mostly did what I wanted. Well, I don't know if you know this, but the Lancer 4P literally has the highest crash ratio to miles flown than any other plane in general aviation. And I thought, now, yeah, maybe I'm not such a great candidate for that plane because I'm still a new pilot, right? Now, I could have went with a super old plane, right? Got 80 gallons per hour, gone 300 plus miles an hour, you know, faster. But, you know, now I'm spending 80 gallons an hour just to fly this thing. And it's going to cost me a lot in maintenance because those planes are, you know, older, like the Mitsubishis and other things like that. So there just was absolutely nothing out there that fit my bill, which is I wanted to go fast and pressurize comfort for not a lot of money, right? So what I finally decided to do was I decided to make my own plane. And, uh, you know, and before I actually did that, I actually went to other experimental companies. You know, I went to Velocity. I went to, you know, other companies and I said, hey, I'll pay you to make this pressurized plane that goes fast, right? I just want one of them. That, that's, that's why I'm doing this, right? And all of them said, no, no, we don't want to do that. No, we don't want to take on that project. That's fine. So I said, I'll make my own. And I ended up finding this company in Brazil called Volato, and I hired them to make my six person pressurized twin. But when I went there to interview them and see if I wanted to hire them, I saw that they had these two other planes there. One of them was a four-person plane. One of them was a two-person plane. And I said, why in the heck are you selling the heck out of these? Because, you know, I asked them their numbers and I asked them what they did. And, and I was just like blown away. And they said, you know, and they gave me all sorts of things. But at the end of the day, everything they said, what it really meant was eh, we suck at sales. Right. So I said, you know what? Give me the contract to sell them and I'll sell them. And that's what I've been doing now for the last uh, 16 months or so. And I uh, sold about 11 of them in the last uh, 16 months. So uh, things are going really well. Um, I told you a little bit about uh, the company and why we're going to succeed. Well, first of all, we've been around now for 16 months, uh, which is a lot longer than a lot of other plane companies can sometimes stick around, right? And we've got nothing but promise in our future, right? So uh, Rich Trickles behind the design, the design of 30 year old. Uh, decades long proven uh, airplane concept. The plane flies great. People compare it to a Cirrus, to a DA40. Uh, they compare it to uh, Grumman Tigers, right? So they compare it to a lot of really well flying planes when they fly in it, right? Uh, uh, Mark B is our designer that's helping us with it. Uh, he's got experience in over a dozen planes that are now flying. Uh, that he's either helped in full or part on to get them flying. And so his experience as an aircraft engineer is just uh, out of this world. It's really great to work with him and he's so easy and, and you know, he's got a great reputation. The uh, next thing is uh, Volato in Brazil, right? People ask, well, what happens? Because they're the ones manufacturing the kids. What happens if they go out of business, right? And so what that what I decided was that, you know, to look into them and somebody else actually looked into them as well. But the long story short is that uh, the, the money partner behind Bellotto, he actually, his family owns a train flipping business. And what I mean by that is literally what it does. They buy locomotives. They have a train yard in Brazil. They bring in the locomotives. They fix them up. They paint them. And then they resell them. That's what their business is, right? When they resell these trains, they're going anywhere from two to five million dollars. And when I went there, and I've got videos on my website, they've got at least 20 different locomotives in there at any given time that they're fixing up and uh, turning around to sell. So 
In Brazil, they've been around since 2013 already. They've been making some sales and manufacturing some kits, but because they're not good at sales, they haven't been doing well. And what happened was Rich Trickle actually died about two months after the initial prototype that he built, which is the, the, the company plane that I now own. Uh, he actually died two months after from pancreatic cancer, and he was going to be the sales end of it in the United States, and, well, that didn't happen. So Vlado was kind of left being like, what do we do? How do we do this, right? They didn't have time to both build and go sell. And so, you know, they just kind of sold a little bit here and there. And, you know, I've been hanging around for the last, uh, you know, nine years or so, actually almost 10 years now, until they found me. And now they sold almost twice as much as they sold in the nine years by themselves. I, I sold for them in the last year. So um, they're going to be nice and strong. And they're now uh, fluid and cash flow moving forward. So. Uh, nothing with them. And then what about me? Who am I? Right? So what it, well, you could basically really what you're doing is you're giving your money to me and I'm making sure that everything else around this happens. Well, if you look at me and my history and you Google me on the web, I've been around for 23 years in uh, with my own businesses. I was a holistic chiropractor uh, for eight years in Chicago, Illinois. And then I did public speaking for a few years. And then I formed my own medical manufacturing device company called Vivaz, and I manufactured and sold that medical equipment. I got two FDA clearances, which is not easy to do. I got one warning letter. I guess I found out later that was pretty easy to do. And uh, I actually sold that company last year, and um, I'm now focusing full-time on the plane business. So... Uh, you you know, when you Google me and you look for me, you'll see all hundreds of positive video reviews about me from past customers, from, you know, all my past businesses. And, you know, you don't, you see hard, almost nothing negative about me on the web. And if you look closely at, the, at any negative stuff on me on the web, it, you'll see it's usually my competitors who get pissed because I'm better than them. So uh, it really is, you know, uh, uh, all of us have a firm background and a, and a firm commitment going forward that you're going to get what you paid for and we've already delivered three kits to the United States. Uh, we've delivered one complete plane, that's the one that I now own, the one that Rich built, and in the next couple of months we're going to be having two more kits coming in the United States, it's five, and we're going to have uh, you know one more kit every month or so on average coming in in the future after that. So we've we've um, hired people, Volato's hired people, we are now in full swing to make sure that everything is at, that it gets that everybody wants, right? So. Uh, what is it that you can do for engines with our Veloci 400 planes? Well, at the end of the day, you can have any engine you want. That's the bottom line. We offer full support for any and all engines, right? So if you ever decide that you want a different engine than the ones that we recommend, well, guess what? We're going to help you to build a firewall forward for that engine because then if anyone else in the future ever wants a different engine for our plane, we have it. Right, so that's what I mean by we're there for you. We're helping somebody put in a TSIO uh, 550, right? That's going to add about 75k cost to their their total price all in when they're done. But that's what they want to do. That's the same engine as a uh, Cirrus, right? We uh, a lot of people in the past in the generation one and twos have put in uh, TIO and TSIO 360s and 390s. Again, that's going to add a little bit of cost to the prices I quoted earlier because those engines cost more than the engines we recommend. You can get certified Jet A diesel options. Those are usually $100,000 or more extra. Uh, there's an experimental diesel company in Italy that uh, has $50,000 extra for any of those prices I quoted earlier. Adept uh, is a gas engine uh, from South Africa. It's about $65,000 more per engine. You can put on turbo props if you really wanted to. Right? So at the end of the day, you really can do any engine. But the one that we strongly recommend is called Aero Volare. Uh, it's actually... Uh, the, one of the best, one of the best uh, designs of engines that I've ever seen. Because what the the company did is they actually went out and they they decided when we start out, you know what, we're, we're going to use this engine that goes in a Kohler generator, right? And the Kohler generator is under constant load, producing electricity just like a plane's going to be under constant load, pulling that plane through the air. And those Kohler generators run at 3,600 RPMs, and they do that for 5,000 hours. Right? And so that's the basis of their engine. And those same uh, engine blocks that they that they use from the Kohler generator are also in boat motors. Right? They they go two to three thousand hours running at forty two hundred RPMs in boats constantly and regularly. Right? 
and uh, it's a it, it'll hold full power um, up to about uh, 18,000 feet uh, and then it'll hold 75 percent power to 25,000 feet and we uh, and this engine is designed to run in cruise at 75 percent at 3600 rpm so it's actually a relatively low rpm engine compared to most other engine companies out there who are taking car engine conversions and stuff like that so it's a really really fabulous motor it actually uh, has it, it's, it's the ls uh, v engine it's a 4.3 v6 by gm and it's an aluminum block engine it's the exact same thing as the ls3 engine which is the uh, engine that tons of people already know is super reliable for airplanes but because it's only six cylinders it weighs a lot less Right, and so that's the beauty of it. Now we can also do this in a non-turbo version. It'll get about 300 horsepower, and it'll hold 75% power till about 10,000 feet. Right, so uh, it, they're, they're, it, it's it's a really great engine. I I, I got lucky to find this company. Uh, I got the exclusive agreement to sell their engines. Uh, you know, lucky for me. And so these are the engines that we're recommending in the plane. They are uh, only 100 pounds. Um, heavier installed than an IO390 and they're about a hundred pounds lighter than most uh, six-cylinder Continental and Lycoming engines installed you know apples to apples so same horsepower same options same whatever we're literally about a hundred pounds lighter than any of the V6s from Lycoming or Continental and as you see even without the turbo we still have more horsepower than most of those six-cylinder Lycoming and Continental so it really is a great engine. Uh, they've already had it up in the air uh, for 10 hours on uh, one of their planes that you see here in the picture. And now they're building uh, their production engine so that they can start ramping them up because they firmly believe and I that I'm gonna start selling a lot of engines for them, which in fact, I'm sure I will do. So it is a SADEC like engine. So for the engine itself, it is a single lever control that includes the turbo and the non-turbo version. If you want to get a constant speed propeller, um, you are going to have to have a separate controller right now for the constant speed propeller. But for the Veloci 400, you can actually put on a fixed pitch prop. You're going to give up a little bit of takeoff uh, distance. So instead of taking off in like 1,000 feet, you're probably going to take off uh, in about 2,000 feet. But still, at 2,000 feet takeoff, that's almost every paved runway in America, right? So uh, you had a 2,000 feet uh, takeoff instead of 1,000 if you had a constant speed prop, but now you're gonna be getting another 50 pounds in useful load, and your top end is only gonna be about five knots lower, right? So you are giving up a little bit of performance by not doing a constant speed prop, but you're also given, you also save a bunch of money and you're saving a bunch of weight. But we do have constant speed propellers available for those who want to really maximize performance on all ends and all ranges, including climbouts and everything else. So that's what the engine is like. Uh, we are uh, looking in the future. I'm trying to get them to convince them that they need to also be able to uh, get the engine controller to control the prop. But we'll see how that goes, right? That might be a year or two down the road. Um, uh, the redrive assembly, they really, really did a good job uh, and they got all the things that they need and they went and they looked at all, what are all the reasons why that other redrives fail and they, they solved all those reasons why they failed. So there's a bearing at the bottom and the top, so there's no torsional loads on the crankshaft. The crank is literally just spinning um, uh, and so we don't have any of those loads, which is, causes a lot of failures. We used a high-grade aircraft alloy. We have a double belt for redundancy. Right? And unlike every other uh, redrive that I've seen on the market, we actually have a belt sensor, right? So it actually senses if the belt is getting loose or not because belts rarely just break, right? If they're, if, if they're, if they're working right, it's like almost, it's always what happens is the belt starts getting too loose or too tight and that's why the belt ends up breaking. So we, they actually, and I say we, but they actually put a sensor on the belt so that we can actually tell if they're not in the proper uh, tension or not. And if they are, a little light comes on and then while well, you land the plane and you readjust the sensors or you don't fly it again until you get it fixed, right? So We've eliminated almost all of it, right? The, we have a, a vibrational torque damper between the engine and the redrive. Uh, the belts themselves act, act like harmonic dampeners a little bit as well. Uh, we actually have a, a harmonic sensor with uh, the dyno, meaning the, the Aero Volare company. Uh, they have all of this stuff on their uh, engines uh, and in their shop to make sure that, hey, the 
prop you put on it's going to work with this engine. There's going to be no, no harmonics issue. The this, the that, right? They they really are looking for and and testing any everything, and that's why I love this engine. For anybody who buys my uh, uh, the the Veloci uh, 400 airplane, you actually get the engine for 25 grand, right? So. Uh, we're selling it at a little bit of a discount if you don't if you want the engine but you don't want any of our planes it's uh, uh, 30 grand so um, we're giving a little bit of a discount to anyone who buys our kits for that engine and again the only thing you're giving up if you're going to put a, a v6 engine in anyway is nothing you're, you're actually saving 100 pounds of weight and a bunch of money now if you were going to put a uh, four-cylinder like homing or continental in, you're going to be a little bit heavier but it's only going to be 50 to 100 pounds heavier depending on if you want the uh, turbo or not so Great, great engine design, uh, proven, reliable engine blocks, uh, go forever. There's tons of parts and everything out there. So, now again, ultimately, you can use any engine you want. I already told you about some of the options, but uh, as long as the uh, uh, the weight is between 150 to 450 pounds, we can get this plane within the uh, weight and balance envelope uh, for the plane. So. Um, we've got a uh, build center in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, AviationComposites.net is the build center in Sandersville, uh, Georgia, which is near Atlanta. Uh, and um, we have a limited number of spots, but for those who want, they can go there uh, for multiple weeks and actually uh, we can teach them and show them and, and they'll actually help us to build their plane uh, to get to, to meet the FAA's 51% rule regulation. So Aviation Composites has an amazing, amazing history. Uh, they built 28 planes, they have restored or repaired another 40, and you will not find a single person who talks about the quality of the work being bad. The only thing that you hear bad about aviation composites is that they're not as fast as they often say. Right, so that's about it. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but that's pretty much anyone. Now you can also bring the kits to any other build center of your choice as well to help help you build as well. So um, the composites factory that actually builds the main portion of the kits is in Brazil. Um, they have a two-seater uh, that is almost ready to fly, and the four-seater, like we said, it's done. They sold kits. They're flying. There's uh, seven of them flying in Brazil. There's one of them flying in the U.S. There's three more kits in the U.S. being put together, and another two more coming soon. Uh, on the website, velociplanes.com forward slash 400, you see a video walk around. Uh, and uh, flying of the four-person plane on the website. That's got a, a four-cylinder uh, like homing in an IO390. It does 155 knots on 10 gallons an hour at 8,000 feet. Uh, so it's a, it, it's a really well-bit flying plane. And when you buy our kits, you get most of the stuff you see in this photo that is all custom parts, including the interior parts, including the seats, including you know everything you need. Uh, as far as custom parts to get this plane going. Now, tires and stuff like that, you're going to buy, we're going to give you um, uh, links in an Excel file to aircraft screws to go buy any off the part shelf that you would need to make the kit. But all in, you know, for a, for a fast build kit, you're going to be about 140000 And for a ultra fast kit, you're going to be in about 160000 if you build it all yourself. So that's uh, how, who builds the kits and where they come from. And then you pay for shipping from Brazil up to the U.S. Um, this is me. I already talked a little bit about me. Um, I'm starting a new company as well, True Gene Diagnostics. Uh, that's my new company, uh, but uh, I'm not going to be really getting into that one until the until the sixth place pressurized twin is off the ground and flying. When that's off the ground and flying, then I'm going to be uh, really putting my efforts and time into True Gene Diagnostics uh, at the same time as uh, I move forward the 600 pressurized twin towards uh, certification, but that's going to take years and millions of dollars. So. Some actual sizes and specs of the Veloci 400, um, but uh, as you see, the cabin height, width, and shoulder room is exactly the same as a Cirrus almost, except for a few of them are one inches smaller. Right, so it is very much. If you want to know what it feels like to sit in our plane, go sit in any Cirrus, and that's what it feels like. Right. Um, our weights, uh, it's gonna, again, it's going to depend on which engine you put in, but as a comparison here, I put the turbo to non-turbo uh, uh, um, Aero Velati engine and the, comparing it to the TIO 520, 540, because that's what a lot of people will probably put in. Uh, the 400, maybe they don't put the T option in, but then they get 50 pounds less, uh, uh, just like us, and a little bit less uh, horsepower. But there you'll see, you know, the biggest things are you get almost 100 pounds in the baggage compartment, right? You get 80 gallons of fuel, which means at 15 gallons an hour, you're going for um, 
over five hours at 200 knots, right? So that's over a thousand nautical miles that you're going to go at 200 knots uh, before you have to land and refuel. You pull back the throttle just a little bit and you can easily get to 1400 nautical miles in this plane as a range. And most people's bladder doesn't go that long, right? So um, uh, lots of great specs on the plane. Uh, performance numbers on the plane, again, a little bit's going to depend on the engine you put in and whether it's turbo or not and right which altitude you can get to, but you'll see the numbers are, again, better than Cirrus, right? 200 knot cruise speed at 8,000 feet, right? Uh, you go up to 18,000 feet, pull back the throttle a little bit, you're still doing 203 knots on 12 gallons an hour of car gas or uh, 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 av gas, right? So the, the stall speed is 60 knots. That's a proven number. We were flying that plane around, right? Um, and uh, takeoff and landing is under 1,000 feet. And it, they just threw 1,300 feet of climb. Like the, the, the planes just fly great. And again, what are, the, what are the full numbers, right? All those are published on the website. But here's some of the IFR ranges we have. And this is with the Aero Velada engine that we recommend. And uh, you'll see in order, you know, if you just start pulling back the power a bit, you can get 180 knots still at 18,000 feet on seven gallons an hour, right? And the, the reason why is that the air is thinner out there, and so you takes less energy to go through the same, to go through the same distance because you're actually going through less air. That's why indicated airspeed is less up there, right? So the the performance of the plane is, is really phenomenal, either economical or fast, either one or both, just based on where you pull that that power to now. What does that mean for our wing loading? Because that, you know, that determines stall speed and a lot of crashes and stuff like that, right? So the Veloci 400 is actually has less wing loading uh, than most twins, right? And it also has only a little bit more wing loading than a Cirrus. That's how simple and easy and safe and docile that that's why it, that's why it flies so wonderful like so many other planes. And because we have more horsepower per pound than most of those, we can go as fast as a lot of twins, faster than a Cirrus, right? So uh, it, it really is you know, a great little all-around plane. So you know, if you buy the kits, right? What is what, what color can you paint it? You can paint them any color you want, right? The leather. What can you do if you build it yourself? You can do any color leather interior options you want, right? If you come to our build center and do it, we do have some limited options in the prices that I was quoting of 227 uh, uh, done for you, uh, a ready flying plane with a little bit of your help for multiple weeks at our build center. But uh, that is uh, the beauty of, the, uh, of, of doing it yourself is you really get it anywhere you want. Now, if you want to spend a little bit more, right, more money, we can always do any leather you want. We can also do any paint you want, but it may not be included in the base price. What's included in this 227K price is a full Garmin IFR suite package. Dual glass touchscreens, autopilot, two radios, intercom, uh, GPS 175 or GNX 375, depending on availability, because right now they, they're they changing around a lot, and sometimes it takes a year to get one and three months to get the other, but it's going to be IFR. And the beauty of these Garmin Experimental ABA Anoxes is all the things that they give you, again, it's just like a Cirrus, right? And so it provides you envelope protection so that if you start going too fast or too slow in some configuration, the Garmin's going to tell you. It's going to say, hey, you know, there's a problem, under speed, over speed, slow down, flaps down, go up, right, just like a Cirrus will. So it's very hard for the pilot to mess up and crash the plane because the computer is monitoring everything and telling you when you're going too fast or too slow. And just like the Cirrus, right, you got a little blue button on the Garmin autopilot and you push that button and let go of the controls and no matter how that plane is flying, that autopilot's going bring it, to bring it back around to straight and level flight. Right, it's called auto level, and uh, uh, just like uh, some of the newer planes, a few of them have it with the experimental Garmin. There's a button, like, and there's another little button you push, and if it, no matter what happens, no matter who's in the plane, no matter who has a heart attack, you push this button. This button is called Safe Glide, and what it does, it allows you to glide or fly to the nearest airport. Now. What happens is you push that little button, and as long as you don't hear this beep, 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 no airport in range, you're golden. 
anyone can land that plane because all they got to do is flare a little bit and pull back the engines if they're still running. Now, if the engines are still running, let's say the pilot had a heart attack and you push that button, all the all the all the passenger has to do is is they they keep the engine power on until they hear that boop airport found, right? So if they push that button and they hear, you know, they hear the calculations to go to the airport, great, pull back the power and let the plane glide to the airport and land on the, and if the if the passenger does nothing, right? That plane is going to do a 500 foot a minute descent onto a runway. And that's probably a walkable, you can, most of the passengers will probably walk away from that even if something happens, but often the plane itself is going to be fine, right? But now if the, if the, if the passengers train just a little bit to, to flare a little bit, nothing's going to happen, right? That's all the passenger has to do is flare a little bit right at the bottom of the landing and that plane is going to, is going to, it's going to be that the Garmin avionics does everything else, right? Except for manage engine and flare. That's it. So um, that's the beauty. Of, that's one of the, you know, these are some of the biggest reasons why I use Garmin. And, but the biggest reason in all honesty is the dealer pricing on them is great. You know, we get a great deal on them. So that's why I include them with it better than the others. So uh, we do have plans to put a twin in motion. Um, this one is probably not going to be uh, coming till the end of 2024, but it is our plan uh, to make a twin little four-seater non-pressurized plane because a lot of people, they just want a little twin for the safety, but they don't want to necessarily, you know, be pressurized, go up higher, go super fast. So that is one of the things that we have on our menu. You can also get a parachute if you just want one of the single engine planes. Uh, you can put a parachute in just like a Cirrus. That's a little bit uh, uh, more than the 227, uh, but we do have that option. It is built in and comes from the factory like that. If that is what you want with the kit ready to put in a chute that you do yourself. So um, that is a, you know, a bunch of safety features that we have in our plane. So uh, just to do a more, a little bit more detailed comparison uh, to an SR22, um, you know, prices for the kit, prices if we, uh, uh, if you build completely, prices if we build for you at our build center. When I say for you, we do a lot of the stuff for you. You just have to show up for a few weeks. Um, and uh, with a shoot, 257K, right, compared to the 1 million of a Cirrus, that's a 75% discount. Right, our engine is Aero Valari, 300 to 350 horsepower. Uh, we can easily go 203 knots at 18,000 feet on 12 gallons an hour. Right, there's no way in the world. Now, if you bump this up uh, to uh, 15 gallons an hour, you can go 220 knots at 18,000 feet. Versus a Turbo Cirrus is supposed to say they go 213 knots on 17 gallons an hour. Uh, but in my Cirrus, uh, I never saw 213 knots at 18,000 feet. Uh, it was, you know, 205, so it was close, but in the real world, it just never really got there. Our range is a lot further than uh, a Cirrus. Our takeoff and landing is shorter than a Cirrus. Our star speed is about the same as a Cirrus. Uh, our useful load is about the same as a Cirrus, right? Uh, and so the, 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 there really is no comparison. You know, if you, if you, if you can give up a, a few weeks to come to our build center, in Atlanta, Georgia, well, you know what? We can get you a Cirrus for 75% off, basically what it amounts to, right? Uh, if you compare our plane to an SR20, right? And they, 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 I don't even know if this is numbers right anymore, but it used to be $500,000 for the SR20. It's still half price. You're still going, you know, 50% faster. You still have more useful load, way better uh, 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 takeoffs, right? A little bit higher stall speed, but everything else we beat them left and right on, and the speed is way faster. Now, if you put a uh, an IO390 in our uh, 400 plane, just like an SR20 would, we're going to have very similar numbers to, to the SR20, but it'll be again just a little bit faster, a little bit a faster climb, a little bit, uh, you know, like all of our numbers are still going to be better than SR20, so except for the stall speed. Uh, but it, it, you know, depending on what you want, uh, these are great little planes. Now, a lot of people know about the band, right? Let's compare this to an RV10. What does it look like? Well, the price of our kit is about the same, unless you get their fast build kit, which is more than our ultra fast build kit, and it still takes longer to build than our ultra fast build kit. And uh, um, the price all in to build after everything's said and done is still cheaper with ours than with vans, right? Uh, if you want to do a build center, uh, uh, you know, comparing apples to apples with a parachute, which you can't get in the vans, ours is $100,000 cheaper with the parachute. If you take the parachute away, we're about $120,000 cheaper than the vans every 10 built at a build center uh, with your help, right? So 
Uh, our cruise speeds are way faster than um, a van's with less fuel burn. Our range is further than a van's, right? And about the only thing that van's beats us on is a takeoff and landing. But here's the thing, for most people, for absolutely almost all people, right? Who is going to need a runway shorter than 850 feet? Almost no one. Now, if you're one of those very few people who only got a 500 foot runway and you really need that shorter takeoff distance, then absolutely, Vans is a better choice. But anybody that I've ever talked to, right, short of having your own private airstrip that's super short, 850 feet is plenty for every runway that they're taking off and landing from, including grass strips, right? So we beat everything except for those two things with the Vans. Right, comparing it to velocity again, and, you know, and, and I compared it to the twin because why? Because the twin is actually um, about the same speed and about the same build and it's about the same everything as our single engine plane. Right, so their kit is a lot more money. Their price to to build is a, is about a hundred grand more if you're going to build it yourself. Right, putting because now you got to put two engines instead of one. If you go to a build center and have them build for you slash with you, uh, you're going to be at about 150 grand more. And ours is going to have a chute. Theirs won't. Right, um, they're going to you're going to need two engines on theirs. And our speed, if you look here, the speed is almost exactly the same. Right? Our range is the same. Their takeoff and landing is twice. Their stall speed is a little bit less. And they say they don't have a stall, but that plane still stalls. It just recovers from the stall all by itself. So I call it a stutter stall. But it's about the same speed that it happens at. Right? Our useful load is a little bit less than theirs. Right? But time to build less, cost less, everything else less. Right? So are you willing to give up 100 pounds of weight in ours? for a lot cheaper, a lot faster, a lot everything else, you know, that's up to you. Well, let's go to the TSI Sling. That's another big competitor of ours, right? So um, the TSI Sling, right? Uh, price for the kit, I actually don't know, right? Because uh, um, I couldn't find that information yet, but everyone always tells me that if you're going to completely build their kit, you're going to be in for about 200 grand. If you're going to go to a build center and build their kit, right, you're going to be in for about $350,000, right? That's a new number I find out that's not actually in the slides. It's probably updated, but anyway, right? And you get a little 145 horsepower Rotax, which is not a bad engine, but now you're going 155 knots. Right, compared to our 200 knots, your range is half that of ours. Right, your takeoff and landing. Uh, I didn't have this number when I made the slides, but now it's about the same as ours, is what I found out. Their stall speed is a little bit less than ours, but our uh, useful load is way more than theirs again. Right, so again, about the only thing they beat us on is stall speed is a little bit less, and uh, takeoff and landing is a little bit shorter. Everything else, again, we're better than them. Right, so. Uh, when you can, and, and I can go on and on and on and compare our plane to all these other planes, but what you'll find is you'll find the same thing, that right now we've got a very discounted price compared to everyone else's, comparing apples to apples, because we are the new guy on the block, and as soon as we start uh, proving our name and having you know, 10, 25, 50 of these flying, the, the Gen 3s, guess what? We're probably going to be right up here around the same price, if not more, because we're better than them, right? Right? The only thing we don't have, you know, is, is the, the years of selling them like these other companies do. So uh, March 2023, this is where we're at. Um, so seven of these are flying in Brazil. Eleven of these are sold. Uh, three of them are in the U.S. We've got a generation two and a half. This is where Rich actually did a lot of his testing on before he made the generation three. So that one's in St. Augustine, Florida. Um, I got a generation three in the United States flying as a company plane that I own. I'm actually looking to sell it. But uh, And then I've got uh, multiple generation three kits in the United States as well being built. So um so we're going to be at uh, Sun and Fun this year, probably next year as well, but uh, come join us. We're also going to be going to Oshkosh. I don't think I will necessarily have the four-person plane at Oshkosh, um, but I'm going to have a, 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 uh, the, the shell of a six-person plane. I'll have so people can actually see this is the size of the plane. This is I can climb inside of it and sit in the seats, and this is how much room I have. There won't be any uh, avionics uh, or uh, flight controls in it, but I'm um, pretty sure that's what I'm going to have at Oshkosh, and so I don't know if I'm going to have the four-person yet, but uh, we'll see. 
uh, options that you have. Uh, shoot is uh, another 40K, uh, full de-ice prop, uh, wings, tail, everything is 45K. If you just want prop, it's a couple thousand dollars, but that's included in the pool. Uh, we have an electric AC option that we can add for $10,000. Uh, if you want to add certified uh, gas, uh, diesel engines, it's going to be more money. Turbines are a lot more money. Uh, if you use the Aero Velari engine, uh, heat is included for free, uh, but you're going to have to spend more money for the heat systems that go with those certified engines if you want those to use, uh, you know, just like a Cirrus or any other plane with light combing would have. So you still get heat, it just isn't free. you got to pay more for it. So those are the options we offer. Everything else comes with it, standard included. Uh, we got our ultra-fast kit. Uh, there's no composite work. When I say no composite work, what I mean by that is that there's no critical composite work. You're still going to have to do a little composite work to mount the dash. You're still going to have to do a little bit of composite work if you want to change one of the uh, you know, uh, things. But there's no critical composite work for this plane anymore. There's no jigs. There's no alignment. There's no anything. As long as you don't have any parts left over with the ultra fast kit, the plane's going to fly great. Now, the fast kit, uh, that one, you're going to have to get use jigs, right? We actually provide them, but you're going to have to use them. You're going to have to do a lot of composite work to line up the wings, to get the wings, uh, you know, and the spars and everything in place and ready to go as you, as you then do the composite work to, to mount them in place. So that's the, the big difference between our ultra fast and uh, fast kits. So uh, our deposits uh, currently, right now, the recording of this, I actually have one ultra fast kit available. Uh, it's sitting in Sandersville, Georgia at $74,700 plus the shipping of about uh, $9,000 that we took to get it to Sandersville, Georgia. If you want us to ship that kit to you, uh, we can do that. You can also leave the kit in Sandersville, Georgia and do a, um, a factory uh, assist build with that kit. Uh, that's going to be $227K for that kit fast built for you in uh, Sandersville, Georgia. Um, if you want another kit, the one that's not, uh, that we don't have anymore right now, like the next available shipping kits would be in May. Uh, 29000 reserves the spot of that kit. Uh, that is, uh, you pay the rest of the kit price in the shipping when the kit is actually ready to ship. And um, we do have some, like I said, build for you, uh, factory quick build assist um, options for you. Uh, the next one, if you ordered one of those uh, quick build kits right now for 227k or more, if you wanted options, you'd get delivery of that plane in about 18 months. Uh, we do have a few of those spots available right now. Uh, and again, that's at the time of this recording. Uh, and if you wanted a brand new kit that wasn't, like you could the one in Sandersville is actually gone, uh, you're going to have about nine months for that kit to ship with you as of right now. Again, at any time that can change, I get you know five orders and that's suddenly now over a year before your kit's going to ship, right? I don't get any orders for three months and now maybe the shipping time is six months, right? So I don't know what the future is going to bring, but my guess is that you know, for the last year and a half, we've been sitting around uh, nine to 12 months for uh, most orders. So um, uh, if you have any questions, uh, send me an email, uh, give me a phone call. That's my personal uh, cell phone number. That's my personal email address, comes directly to me. Uh, and if you just decided, you know, after watching this video, you know what, they've already delivered multiple kits. The, the airframe's already proven. Uh, they, they've all got track records, you know, searchable and verifiable on the internet. I can put down deposits on credit cards. So even if I am getting totally screwed, my credit card company is going to give it back. Uh, you know, if you want to do this, hey, send me an email, ask for the contracts, the credit card forms, and we'll get you in line or we'll get you this kit that we uh, currently have available. So, uh, that's what we do, uh, the payment schedule. So if you wanna do the uh, quick build assist, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna be paying for the build as we go, right? So 50K down re, uh, reserves your spot, uh, 40K when the kit is uh, ready to ship to the United States, uh, 20K when we start assembling the kit, 20K halfway through the build, 35K when we're ready to put the engine in, um, uh, 25K for the interior, 25K for the avionics, uh, 10K for the paint and 7K when it's finished. So um, that's basically what it is. And if you're, this will be over 18 months is what this is, what'll happen with this payment schedule. Uh, currently right now, because we don't have uh, 20 of these planes in the United States, uh, it does uh, make it a, uh, a difficult to get financing, not impossible, but it is difficult. So, you, you know, if you're thinking about buying with us, you really wanna go into this knowing that you're gonna have to pay this price until it's completely finished, and then you may be able to get financing for the plane, depending on your credit, once it's finished and ready to fly. So um, that's what it is. If you want to actually do a kit, uh, it's really simple. 
29,500 reserves the kit, and then you pay the rest of the price and the shipping uh, when the kit's actually ready to ship. Uh, right now, um, like I said, right now we've got uh, some June, uh, July spots available for shipping if somebody wants to get a kit. And as of right now, we do have that one in Sandersville, Georgia that is ready to actually be picked up now from Sandersville if somebody wanted it. So um, a lot of people question ask me is, what about insurance? And for insurance, um, basically, uh, it's about going to be about $3,500 if you want just liability, right? So it's not going to cover any damage on the plane, but you crash and something happens or you bump into a hangar and something happens, right? That'll cover that type of thing. Uh, if you want full coverage insurance, it actually is going to cover the plane. There is a company that's covering it. Right now, I'm per currently paying $6,000 a year. I'm a 300-hour pilot, and it's got a $200,000 hull value. So that gives you an idea of, you know, if you've got a lot less hours, you'll probably get a little bit cheaper. If you've got less hours, it's probably going to be more. If you want to cover it for more than 200 k it's probably going to be a little bit more, but that gives you an idea of what's available for these planes. Uh, one of the other options is if you really want, you can do the full plane in carbon fiber, but it's going to be a 30% increase in cost, and you're only going to save 50 pounds in weight. So I usually talk most people out of it, but yeah, you can pay with a credit card. Yeah, these planes have gone through spin recovery, and they've recovered. We haven't done every single, you know, extreme forward center of gravity. Extreme. We haven't done all the options we need to be certified, but we have done spin recovery and the planes to uh, recover from a spin. So uh, again... If you're interested, uh, let me know. Um, taking deposits, taking payments on credit cards. You can also wire cash, credit card, Bitcoin. Uh, basically, I'll take your money however you want. So um, if you're interested, give me a call. There's my phone number, 773-620-9500. My email, you know, if you know that, hey, I want to buy, I want to send in a deposit, you can email me. So I'll send you the contracts and credit card forms, and uh, you can send it back, and we'll get you in line. So, um there it is. There's everything you probably didn't didn't want to know about the plane. If you have other questions, again, feel free to reach out. Even if you're not necessarily ready to buy, I'm happy to help people uh, move through that process to bring them uh, to the point where they say, yes, okay, I'm ready to buy. So thanks, and uh, make your day fabulous.